right. Um, so this is a, a pretty big video, in my opinion, that I definitely needed to come and talk to you guys about and report it for those that might not know. But Pokemon, the TV anime, is changing because Ash and Pikachu will no longer be the main protagonist. Let's get into it. What's going on everyone? It's your boy Ooze back again once again. And uh, I just have like, you know, maybe a few minutes to talk about this because there's really not a whole lot to say as far as, you know, what the, the news is. But I might go in a little bit more just to give you guys my thoughts on this whole matter and kind of like what it means to me and the impact that it's having on myself and maybe other fans that can relate. Um, but do leave a comment in the, you know, comment section below and tell me your thoughts on how you're feeling. You can be as honest as you want because I know this is a very mixed um, situation that's happening right now. And with Pokemon, um, of course, I don't think it's ever going to end. It's way too big of a popular um, icon in the world that I just, you know, I can never realistically see it ending. But as far as Ash and Pikachu's story and their adventures, it's uh, unfortunately coming to a close. And the reason why I'm so sad is just because of the way Pokemon has been written and been produced and, I mean, just really given to us as fans is that it's always centered around Ash and Pikachu's adventure. And, you know, with becoming the Pokemon master or wanting to be as, you know, one of the goals, I don't even know if they even say gotta catch them all anymore, right? But besides the point, Ash finally did something that he hasn't been able to do, you know, until now. Um, and to go, just go into the bit of what's going to happen with him and Pikachu and are they getting replaced. So let's actually take a look at this right here. Starting in April, the new Pokemon anime will focus on the new main characters, a girl Rico and boy Roy. Satoshi, aka Ash, and Pikachu will no longer have the spotlight, and they have been the main duo since 1997. So, 1997 is when the anime, I would guess, started in Japan, obviously, but, you know, whenever it did come out in the US, which I'm sure was very shortly thereafter, I don't know the exact uh, year, but I do remember that Red and Blue came out in 98, where Japan had it in 96. So, it's been a very long and ongoing thing and obviously 25 years as you know your main leads is is a pretty big deal um and it's uh yeah it's 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 kind of it's it's kind of heartbreaking in a way man because you know realistically it's like pokemon the way it's been presented has always been about them like i said and throughout all the different regions and all the different friends and foes that they've encountered and new Pokemon that they've brought along in the family from all the Pokemon that he's let go and you know all the all the L's that he always and that he that he held you know it's it's always been something that has you know really stuck with a lot of fans right and despite all the ups and downs and I want to show you guys this really quick okay so this image is an image that was shared a few years ago when Ash won the um, the Alolan Championship, right, in the, the Sun and Moon. So he got first place by the end of this, all right? And when you look at his progress, okay, when the show started, you know, he, he got top 16 in Kanto, top 8 in Johto, top 8 in Hoenn, top 4 in Sinnoh. Top eight in Unova, top two in Kalos, and then finally in Alola, he got the first place as the champion. Now, the interesting part about this is that, as you guys may remember, in the Alola region, it wasn't necessarily your traditional championship where, you know, you go through, you know, the Elite Four and then you fight the champion at the end. They had like the trials. Um, and then they essentially had something similar, but the whole, like, there was no eight badges, I guess is what I should have said first, but the whole point of, you know, getting the eight badges, going to the champion, fighting the Elite Four, and then fighting the champion and becoming the new champion, that's something that Ash has been trying to achieve 
ever since the beginning. And in here, I'm not going to take away his big win, but that was the first big win that he actually had. Now, if we if we look at what recently happened, Ash finally got the big one. And this was obviously done in a more traditional manner where he went through, he got all eight badges, and then he eventually went on to defeat the champion. And I'm, I'm, huh, I forget the dude's name, right? Man's had the purple hair. Um, and he I kind of look like him too, not gonna lie, which is, you know, also an, another side note. Um, but this is the team that he had. He had a Gengar, Lucario, a Dragonite, a Farfetch'd, all right? And I don't even know who that other dude is in the corner. All right, that's one of the newer Pokemon, but you know, I'm, I'm obviously dating myself because I, you know, I obviously haven't really kept up with a lot of what's been going on recently in Pokemon, but obviously this is big enough of a news story to report and share and kind of give you guys my thoughts and where I like stand on this. And I'm glad I actually didn't look up this Pokemon's name because I, I wanted to give you guys, as always, the authentic side of my story with this, just so you guys can understand like where I'm coming from and all of this. So all in all, it's obvious and clear as day. And I'm sure a lot of you probably are like me where you don't really keep up with Pokemon as, as you know, as long as, as far as the TV anime goes, like I obviously like to stay up to date with the games. As a matter of fact, let me just show you really quick. I actually do own Scarlet version right now. Okay. But it's the, it's sealed because I haven't had time to play it yet, but I obviously have all intention of doing so. I always, it's almost like a tradition where ever since I was a kid, I've always played the main Pokemon games and I've always enjoyed them all and I've enjoyed the adventures and the stories and the Pokemon and everything that comes out of it. And Ash has always been like that, you know, that, that, that focal point in the anime, obviously something that I grew up with as well, in addition to Dragon Ball and Power Rangers and Digimon and what have you. And it's just crazy that here's another thing that is essentially kind of being taken away from fans like myself you know and it's not i shouldn't say taken away but it's more or less fans like myself are just upset and sad but it's like wow it's like it's like a it's like a wake-up call like holy crap like he's been around as a main character for 25 years and it's time i guess you know he as 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 i showed you guys he had a track record where he was making waves and he was he had he had his had his ups and he you know had some downs and then he came back up again and he finally got his big wins and he finally achieved what he was trying to achieve again i don't know if he realistically wants to still catch them all or if that's just an old slogan that kind of just faded away or if that essentially just makes him a pokemon master i know it makes him a champion but i'm not necessarily sure if that would in, 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 entitle him to that other name as well, the Pokemon Master, right? So what does this mean? Well, this means that with him being a champion now, I mean, what normally happens? You, know, you look at the games, you, when you're a champion, that's it, you win. You know, like you beat the game and now, you know, you basically complete the decks or you just, you know, you're done or you EV train or whatever and do competitive, right? Now, as far as the anime story is concerned, this is like, you know, a really, you know, pretty big question, like well, what happens, right? So what I'm, what I'm understanding is that Ash is going to still continue to be on the television show until April. And that's where he's going to get replaced by these two new characters. So these are the two new characters. And of course, they're going to obviously have, um, I, and I'd imagine just from the image, all three of the starters of the latest generation. And they're going to continue the story of Pokemon um, for the foreseeable future. And I, I don't know if they're going to be like the two mains for the remainder of however long Pokemon is going to last or if they're going to have a tenure where they're going to be on for X amount of years or if they're just going to do a thing like how Digimon does it where every year or so, every new season or generation, they're just going to have a new lead. Um, and I feel like that could be a start for them to do that or to practice that. But I feel like for these two, if they're smart, I would imagine they would 
try to keep them around for a good while before changing them out. So I don't know. I really don't know. I don't have anything bad to say about them. Um, I kind of do like the idea that it is a girl and a boy. It isn't, it isn't just like one lead. Because realistically, I mean, Pokemon has always been about anybody can be a trainer, a Pokemon master, whatever. And that's nice, you know, to have that kind of inclusion in in Pokemon, obviously. I mean, and naturally, it's like, did they have to do it like this? Obviously not, because, you know, looking back at Ash's adventures, he's always had other companions with him on his journeys literally every generation, you know. Um, he's had Misty, he's had May, he's had Dawn, and he's had other, like, you know, younger characters, like, like May's brother, and then, you know, characters that might have been a little bit older than them that, you know, was along with them as well. So he's had several different uh, Pokemon companions as far as, like, you know, the Pokemon and the friend, like, the actual, you know, human friends as well. So, and I'm sure it's not going to, it's going to be no different for these two. So, obviously, I, uh, I, I wish nothing but the best for them, right? I sound ridiculous saying that. But, I mean, that's kind of, like, the reality of it. It's like, I just want to make sure that you guys understand that I'm not really salty. I'm not, like, mad. But I'm just really upset. I'm sad in the sense that, you know... There's always going to come a point in time where a lot of the things that you grow up loving are ultimately either going to change or they're going to be different enough to make that much of an impact on you to feel that, yeah, like it really isn't how it was anymore. Like, you know, this isn't the 90s. This isn't the early 2000s anymore. Like this is, you know, the current modern day. And the reality is, you know, whether we like to or want to or not, we got to move on. So obviously, this doesn't mean I'm going to just stop loving Pokemon. I'm always going to love Pokemon. But it's always, you know, a part of me feels like it's just another reminder, man. Like, I'm old. <laughs> like, I'm old. Um, and I was obviously, a, I'm, I'm, I'm a 90s baby, right? I was born in 93, right when Power Rangers started. Or actually, I was born a few months before Power Rangers started. Um, and... It's crazy to see. I, I, you know, I'm not gonna lie. When I first saw the announcement, I saw the trailer. Um, I got a little teary because I just couldn't believe it. It's just like holy shit. Like Ash and Pikachu have literally been around for so long, and like you get reminded of all the memories and all of the 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 tough times and like all that stuff. And it's it's amazing to see that he had that long event adventure. So, <sighs> oh yeah, it's hitting me now. So. Yeah, I gotta get out of here before it starts getting super emotional. But uh, yeah, I wanna, I wanna just, you know, I wanna, I guess, let you guys know that I'm definitely going to make waves and at least an effort to react to the new anime when it does come out because I would actually like to see how they send him off, and I want to see how in story he is written out or however way they want to do it. I do want, I, I really hope that however way they do, they go about it. It is done in a very respectful and loving and just, you know, they they give all they give this dude all his flowers, man. Like, I really hope so. And I hope it's not some whack, you know, ending for Ash and he just rides off into some, you know, weird ass sunset. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping if you guys stuck around this long, I do appreciate it. Um, and for those that didn't know, actually, I have a lot of reactions and videos for Pokemon that I've done in the past. And this was actually before all the Dragon Ball content that kind of really took the channel off. So if you'd like, I definitely appreciate you guys checking out any of my other uh, other Pokemon videos. And if there's any other Pokemon related content that you guys would like to see from me, whether it's thoughts, opinions or reactions to things, let me know. And I do plan, like I said, on eventually getting around to playing Pokemon Scarlet. And I'm sure that content is going to go right over on the Uchi Games YouTube channel. And I will be, um, well, we'll see if I stream on by that time. But anyways, besides the point, uh, lots of Pokemon love to still go around. Um, I am very sad. I am upset a little bit. But it's just a reminder that this is life. And this is just how it is sometimes. And, you know, eventually certain things like this will have to come to an end. So... Congrats to the new starters, to the new to the new leads. You know, when that time comes, I hope you y'all got some big shoes to fill. All right, even though you know Ash had his you know mess up, and I, I'm still salty and mad that he let go of Butterfree the way he did, <laughs> and uh, you know everyone else. But you know, 
it's a lot it's a big learning experience it's a lot it's just a lot to take away from so i just hope that you guys could you know relate to what i'm you know saying and if not you know if you're i'm sure there's some folks out there that are just like yo man screw ash like i'm fine I'm, I'm, I'm excited he's done he sucks you know all that shit like red you know give me red <laughs> like you know i'm sure that there's, i'm sure that there's some of y'all out there right um and that's fine too um, but yeah, so leave your comments in the comments below. Uh, make sure, of course, as always, you're liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting me up um, on Twitter. All the supporting links, again, will be in the description, as always. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. May the power protect you. Keep it locked loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, stay inside. I'll see you guys next time.